to give a little bit more insight as to how I did this frame. You can see that the main beam now is welded to this side beam. The little outriggers are welded in place here. This is where the trucks are going to ride under here. I welded a nut here for the bolt that's going to hold the coupler in place. So you can slide the bolt in there, screw it in place, and that will hold the tr the uh, coupler. On this hole, I drilled it all the way through 5 sixteenths. I turned it over and drilled out this hole 3 eighths. Now, what I did on the top, I, I threaded this portion and the lower portion 3 eighths inch by 16. So now that will let me screw my center bolt in. I can drop through this hole, go to the second hole and start screwing it in. This will screw all the way down When this bottoms out, tighten it up. Of course, I didn't put my Loctite on it already. I'm going to have to put Loctite on the thread. When I tighten this up, now you can see the bolt has come through just a little bit on the top here. And all I got to do now is take a grinder and knock that little edge off. That'll make that flat. If it needs to be flat. If you're going to put flat metal on top of this, that needs to be flat. So you would just take a grinder and knock that off a little bit. So now you can see the frame the way it looks. Oh, to get an idea on how this bolt or pin is put in there, you can see that it is screwed down to this level. And then the head is cut off. So this upper part here is drilled out 3 8 The lower part is drilled out 5 16 and threaded by 3 8 So you can see that the threads are in the upper part. And the lower part is 3 8 And this gives the bolt a lot of stability as far as rocking back and forth. Just one of my methods of, of installing this pin. Just an idea on why I use this method is if this pin ever gets broke or bent, all you got to do is unscrew it with a pipe wrench, just a plain old pipe wrench, screw another bolt in there with a Loctite on the threads, drill the, cut the head of it off and drill this hole and you're right back to where you began. I've had to do this once on the gravel car at Columbia whenever this got bent and it was no problem to unscrew this put a new one in. Also on one of my cars I needed a longer pin. I made it a little too short so I just unscrewed it and made another one screwed it right back in the hole and everything was just like new. And yeah, this is what it looks like from the top. The bolt is screwed in with the head hanging down comes all the way through the top threaded through the top with the 3 8 hole at the bottom and the lower part so this is 3 8 a hole and you drill this 5 16 that one 5 16 and thread this 3 8 all three of these 3 8 so the bolt will go through the top three Okay, now we're looking at the bottom of this car frame. You can see that I have installed a bolt to hold the coupler in place. I put a uh, reciprocating saw inside and used it like a file and just let the saw smooth down that little rough spot inside that was hanging down, the little tit that's hanging down where the welding weld is. So smooth that out. You can see that the car's all frame is all welded together. 
It's got the pin in the middle. I got the hole drilled in the side. This is going to be for the the hairpin or the carter key, whichever you one you want to put in there. Then when you turn this over to fit on the trucks, as you can see, the outriggers sit on the truck and gives you a little bit of clearance. You're going to need to put enough clearance in there that you have at least eighth of an inch clearance here and an eighth of an inch clearance here. As you can see the the bolt came through just the very edge of the bolt came through at the top and I just ground that off and now the car is ready for the frame the rest of the frame to be made you take a one inch angle iron put it on each side run it from this end to the other end you weld a piece of one inch angle iron here out to here and then the one inch angle iron will make a box all the way around then you can build anything you want to build on it